What's up guys? Another late video. My boss keeps working the shit out of me. It's the holidays. Whatever. This looks just like a box, right? It is a box. It looks like a shitty box. What's inside of this to me is probably one of the... I don't even know how to describe it. It's a really, really, it's a major piece in my collection. Um, since I've started collecting, I've always wondered who did, you know, did one of these. So I Google searched, I saw like one or whatever, but there, I didn't really follow up on it. And then when I saw my boy do this and how he sealed his legacy behind this piece, I mean, it's just unreal. There were three that I know of at Mask Fest in Indianapolis. Um, and they got snagged immediately. I'm not sure if any more have been made after this or not. I tried to get in contact with Connor a few times and um, you know, we talked, but I think he's just extremely busy. So I've never broken the ice with him personally. Um, I've always snagged his pieces uh, secondhand. Um, extremely lucky to snag this. I mean, unbelievable. It was supposed to be here yesterday, but with the holidays and all, you know, how the postal services and all that shit are just getting behind and everything's getting up. But look, the box is in great shape. It looks really, really good. Um, I've been thinking about this thing all freaking day. I think it's gotten me through today. <laughs> so, um, I was tracking it like like an addict. It's like constantly tracking this thing. I mean, it was it was kind of it was it was kind of uh, obsessive. But it's here. Um, I am. Oh man. I know it's gonna be like, this is like Christmas to me. I mean, th th this is amazing. And I have a few more pieces coming. I think by the end of this week, I'm sure you guys have seen my Pennywise. Thomas Enos has absolutely killed that. Um, I have a child catcher from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang he's doing as well. And then my Freddy should be coming from Scareware. And then I kinda gotta chill for a little bit until after Christmas. So I'll be back at it after that. Um, hard probably. I need to find more room. I need, I need to make more room or something, man, because I'm running out of room bad. But anyway, I'm going to open this up with you guys because I do these videos now. Um, everything that I get now, I, I basically do these videos. And go to my page. It's uh, unveiling, uh, masks unveiling um, and display busts. Um, go there and just post your uh, unboxing videos. Um, sculptors are welcome to come in and uh, take videos of their sculpts, take pictures of progress sculpts. Um, I think my boy Alex, I think his name, I think he's getting ready to break the ice on my page and uh, do the first non me unboxing video. But with further ado, um, Rudy is the man. Uh, Rudy Munoz is a stand-up dude. I told him, I was like, hey man, if you ever, ever, ever sell this thing, please, please let me know. And at the time, he's like, never, man, it's never happening. But he did live up to that. I got a random uh, messenger PM private message one day, and he said, hey, I'm going after this so-and-so item. I'm going to need the funds, so, you know, if you're up for it, um, I might sell this. It wasn't like a, a definite, but um, and then like a day later, he's like, "Okay, I'll sell it to you," and I just flipped out. So I'm gonna open it now. I'm very excited about this piece, guys. I'm sure you already know what it is. Like I said, I cannot keep a secret. It's bad. But I'm gonna open this up. This, this is this is a big deal, man. I know what this is. I know this is a big deal. I know there's only three of these, I think. I'm not sure if there's gonna even be any more, maybe just at Mask Fest, he'll do them, I have no clue. All I know is, I got one. It's never leaving my collection. Oh, Rudy. More people need to package items like Rudy, man. Look at this bubble wrapped up. Look at this, got the peanuts in there. Very, very well done packing job, buddy. And I like this because I can keep it. Uh, what do we got here? This looks like a custom tailored hat. A very expensive custom tailored hat, I might add. But 
what this hat sits on. Guys, come on. You know what it is. There's the custom tailor's hat. Oh, what's up? This is my cat. Um, he is. He likes to be in videos. He's cool. Man. My little kid. Vinny. We call him Vincenza. He's cool. He's all about this piece. But look at this hat. Get around. Love getting around. Talking to people. How about I sing you a song until your mother comes back? All right. Hey, bud. Let me get you down real quick. Oh, okay. There you go. Go along. Get back up later. All right. So, without further ado, let me pull this nasty old piece out of here. I'm not sure if this stand comes with this or not. Probably going to goddamn it with people. Probably gonna have to make my own stand for this piece, which is fine. Which is fine. No big deal. He said no big deal. So here we go. My big fat head is wrapping around. Oh, this hat is really nice, man. Very well done. And you want to get this hat custom done because it's going to fit his, this head perfectly for the dimensions. I saw a few cheap ones on eBay. One was very expensive. It might even be this one. I'm not sure. It was like $200 or something crazy. I don't know. The hat, the hat is a very expensive part of this piece, but I really had no choice to... Uh, it was the package deal because he bought it at MassFest altogether. So... Um, like I said, let's see what we got here, bud. This is gonna freak the fuck out of me out. Oh my god, that's so creepy. Guys, what we have here is the Henry Kane Poltergeist 2, the man that made the movie Dying of Cancer, I might add. Bust. Display bust. That shit is creepy as fuck. Does that get any better? I mean, you tell me. This is a grail piece to anybody's collection. And just knowing that there's not many of them out, I think this three is just a great feeling to have, man, for me anyway. Um, the hair, very well done, just all dried up. His skin just looks like he's getting ready to die. I mean, this guy looks like he's getting ready to to, uh, to tell you something, man. I mean, this is a stellar job, Connor. I'm so glad and lucky, very fortunate to have this piece, and I'm not letting it go. And don't get any ideas, guys, because if I ever sell it, it's going back to Rudy. I already told him. Um, if I ever sold it, I'd hit him up first. So if he doesn't want it, then it's free game, but I don't see this going anywhere anytime soon, man. I've wanted one of these so long, and, uh, it's finally here and it looks like it's gonna fit in my display cabinet perfectly. I actually don't even think I need too much of a stand for this. I can just prop it up and I think it'll just sit in there really nice. But uh, let, me, you know, let me see how it'll sit in my stand. I'm gonna have to get something to prop it up kind of in the back so it sits up nice. Maybe the hat will do the work for me. But I'm gonna prop it up against this let you guys take a look at it and some like that is just fucking amazing in every sense of the word amazing the detail on this fucking piece is just incredible i mean it looks like it has glass eyes that's why i asked Rudy to begin with i'm like does this thing have glass eyes and he never got back to me but this kid did such a good job with these eyes they look glass teeth are great and he always seems to have the same type of expression throughout the movie so I don't know if anybody else would, would want to create this he always has this smiley look until he gets pissed off at the front door when they won't let him in but dude just great just a phenomenal piece Henry Kane Poltergeist 2 Rudy you are the man this is just a grail piece. 
I can't get enough of it, man. I mean, it is just so, so, so well done. I really can't say enough about this. Let's look at it in the light. Look at that. Look at the quality of work that went into this thing, man. I mean, Christ. This hat fits his head to a T. And it, I mean, it's the Dutch priest hat. It's basically what that is. Um, and he almost has like a gray skin tone to him and the teeth are obviously all fucked up, you know, nasty. He was dying. Good old Henry Kane, guys. I'm going to try to get my wife's camera out this weekend and take some real good shots of this thing. Christ, can you imagine a life-size bust of this thing? How creepy that shit would be, all frail and just bony. Just creepy, dude. This shit's actually kind of creeping me out a little bit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This was like one of my biggest fears as a kid growing up besides like all the zombie movies and shit. But like this and then Zelda from Pet, Pet Cemetery was fucking, it creeped me out, man. So, yeah, man. It's making me want to watch Poltergeist 2 really bad. Why did they go and fuck the remake up too? It was like one of the worst remakes I've ever seen. Like the Amityville Horror remake wasn't even that bad, but man, they destroyed Poltergeist when they remade it. Like, what the fuck? The shit was horrible. Anyway, I'm not gonna hold you guys up anymore. More videos to come hopefully this week. Thomas said my Pennywise is done, and um, he just has to find a box for that big old thing. I think that motherfucker is huge. He just knocked that out of the park too. I mean, Christ, that thing is just sick. I'm gonna put it right next to the Nosferatu. And then the good old uh, child catcher from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I got that more than half paid off. I'll try to take care of that with this check coming up Friday. He's going to put some lollipops on the front. Um, just a real weird, creepy scene. Uh, kidnapping the kids and shit. Um, anyway, Rudy, thank you, man. You have really, 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 really... Uh, uh, taking my collection to the next level with this piece and uh man yeah i just i can't say enough thank you so much uh it means a lot um but yeah guys uh so yeah well you guys have a great rest of your evening or whatever and uh we'll be talking at you soon see you